Okay, and welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and also on YouTube if you're watching this video later on over there. <laughs> okay, saying hi. For some Abzan Bugler Priest, this deck looks pretty cool. This is going to be my first time playing it. This was a donation deck uh, from Disposable Hero. That's, as you can see, up at the top left-hand corner, the D D by the deck name. Um, that's how you know it's a, a donation deck. And... Yeah, this, this one looks pretty cool. So we're just a, a Militia Bugler value deck where we're just getting a lot of creatures off of Bugler. And we're playing all these uh, different creatures where we also have Priests of Forgotten Gods that can sacrifice those creatures to draw more cards. Beast Whisperer draws us more cards. Uh, Johnny can get back our Priests of the Forgotten Gods and also uh, make our creatures larger so we can actually finish out games so it's not just a bunch of small creatures in here and... Yeah, this deck looks really cool. Find Finality gets them back as well. I like what we got going on here. So, um, yeah, that's about it. Uh, sideboard, I'm not loving the Plague Mares, but you can hit them off Bugler. Um, we do have Knight of Autumns also, which is a, a pretty good card in the metagame of being able to destroy enchantments there. So we got four main deck enchantment removal cards there with the Knight of Autumns. Um, yeah, so it's kind of aggressively slanted. And, uh, yeah, let's see how it works. Abs and Bugler. All right, Ferret says, if this 5 O's, that I'm going to play it on all my tourneys this week. We'll see. We've had a couple 5 O's today. That's a really strong opener. Love it. Have the gutter bones on turn one, priest on turn two, followed up by tithe taker. This is very strong. I hope our opponent's like a creature based deck, like mono blue. Do not, not Reclamation. Hope they're a creature-based deck, because these Priest is awesome against creatures. Uh, hopefully Drakes. Phoenix is a little tougher, because Phoenix isn't a bad thing to sacrifice, but they are a creature deck, so that's good. I would like to sacrifice these two creatures, please. Okay, I need another white mana for this Ajani. Yeah, Johnny bringing back Tithe Taker to like sacrifice more. That's sweet. No, Coil, it's gone forever. We can't Ajani it back. No. So getting the 4-3 Knight of Autumn in play so that if they play a uh, Crackling Drake here, we do get to, you know, like, they can't handle Knight of Autumn with a Crackling Drake. Oh, we do have two white. Right, my bad. So we just need a fourth land. Might be. All right. That was a really strong hand for us. Strong game. So we're playing against Is It Phoenix? How many lands do we have in this deck in general? 23? Okay, I'm, I'm actually kind of worried about 23 lands in a three-color deck. I could really want a 24th with all these fours and fives. A little worried about that. 
All right, so Johnny isn't usually that. Oh, well, I guess Johnny does buy back Crowl Harpooner. That's really big. But yeah, let's get Harpooners in here. We'll have cast downs. Hmm, Night of Autumn coming out. Beast Whisper. Amara. Yeah, Amara dying to shock. And uh, Beast Whisperer. I do like the uh, Johnny Harpooner interaction. I think I like what we got going on right here. Yeah, usually trim Knight here. I think I like Knight more than any of these cards. I do like... I mean, I do like 4 power against against Drakes. So, certainly like 4 power. Yeah, we're we're getting real close to another sub battle stream. Had a whole lot of fun with that last time. We're 19 subscribers away from that right now. If you're enjoying this, this stream and would like to help support me being a full-time streamer here, I'd really do appreciate if you consider subscribing. For, for subscribing, you get access to all 22 of those really cool emotes that I put there in chat. Thanks, Sly. And if you have Twitch Prime, which is Amazon Prime, so if you have Amazon Prime, you can link your Twitch account and then therefore have Twitch Prime and get a free subscription with that. So if this gets coiled... Okay, it's just shocked. I was going to say, if that gets coiled, then they're going to have just less and less coils for these other cards. Good draw. They must have been on like a a mulligan to like five or something. I didn't really see, but this is not very many cards. So they've had four, five, six, seven, eight cards. Basically. They've drawn two, so maybe they're on a mold of six. Yep, now since they shocked the harpooner can kill Drakes now. Thanks, Rex. Alright, so no Phoenix. Three ops are gone. shock that's three shock three opt two charter course they've gone through lots of spells they just guard another shock all right all four shocks they don't really have one mana spells left four shocks and three ops are gone Blech. So I don't have to worry about a Johnny getting shocked because they don't have any shocks left. They could have a Phoenix though that kills that could kill a Johnny, so I'm leaving the 1-1 one -one back to be able to block a Phoenix. Oh my 
this trade. Ooh, good card, good card. So just getting the Harpooner in here to be a a blocker with reach. Again, Look in case there is a Phoenix. I don't want I don't want a Phoenix just to come in here and kill the Ajani. So Harpooner is, is a blocker with reach for me. Yeah, you think they'll probably start drawing some lands here. So they've drawn, so they got five lands out of 22 cards. So six lands. Yeah, only six lands out of 22 cards. They've just gone through so many spells. And yeah, Buglers are just going to take over now. Same with the Johnny. Deliver this us game should victory. be over. Defense. Defense. All right, want to know. Definitely impressive showing there for the Bugler deck. You can, yeah, the Z key on your keyboard allows you to undo tapping a land. <laughs> Nightmares of OX are gone, yep. Yeah, Johnny is... Johnny is really, really nice in this deck. Love it. The biggest thing I'm worried about with this deck, Hero, is that we're like one land short. 23 is it's pretty low for this deck that really wants to hit at least four land drops. And it's three different colors. I'd be a lot more comfortable with this deck having a 24th land. Hey, CO. Same matchup. My hand's not as good this time. Oh yeah, whenever Priest is going, but like, yeah, whenever Priest is going, you're you're just good anyway. It doesn't doesn't really matter. It's the games where you don't have Priest because the curve's not that low. We have a lot of threes and fours, and threes and fours, 23 land is, is really tough. There's seven cards that cost four, two cards that cost five, a whole lot of cards that cost three. All right, there we go. And here we go. Let's get started. The Night of Autumn. It's going to be tougher for us game one. You know, like we don't have our Harpooners in here. We got something like Beast Whisperer. Just not so great. Probably if we draw a fourth land, I'm playing Beast Whisperer next turn. If we draw the fourth land, that's the card that I'm playing. Okay, never mind. They tapped out. Never mind. I'm going to play Chupacabra. Am I supposed to kill Terramander? Because Terramander turns into a 5-5, five five, like 5 toughness. Guess they have to spend more mana on that, though. 
Alright, we'll kill the Crackling Drake. Good. Kill that Chupacabra. Ugh. I need to kill that thing. If we had fifth land here, I would... I would, you know, like to be able to cast Find to draw this again and play a Knight of Autumn, another 4-3. Whisper and Bugler are just going to be too slow here. Like, they're not going to matter before somebody wins. It's either Knight of Autumn and have two 4-3s going with, with them being at 12, or it's just Find to pick up Chupacabra. So those are the two options. So let's say I play Knight of Autumn. They attack for five, put me down to seven. I can attack with both of these, put them down to four. Hmm. I don't really like either option. I mean, if Bugler would hit Chupacabra, that would be like the best thing, but that's not very likely. Definitely not going to gain four with Knight of Autumn. Definitely going with four three. We could just try to get real greedy and play this Bugler and try to hit Chupacabra. Saying find Chup. The big problem with going find Chup is, of course, dive down. If we got dive down. We're in trouble anyway. Yeah, even like a card with bu like Bugler usually lets you cast multiple cards, as multiple things a turn. It's another reason to have a little bit more mana. Yeah, well, yeah, we definitely need twenty-four in this deck. See, even like even this game, we drawn four lands with a twenty-three land deck. That's pretty strong. And we just can't cast our cards in our hand. We fast enough. Yeah, we need more mana. We can't do anything to stop us from taking lethal the next turn. All right, so Drake's... Same kind of thing we're just doing. Hmm. Phoenix is annoying. This is what we did last turn. The last game. This card's value goes up with Phoenix and Terramander for sure. I could see playing some of the a couple of those over the couple Night of Autumns. Third Tristani will come in against aggro decks on the ground where we want to do like some blocking, get like the life linkers and everything. Yeah, and then also, yeah, decks with like Thieves Andy, Hostage Shaker that take our stuff. It does. Tristani matches up incredibly poorly against um, against Finality, though. I haven't loved it against Sultai. In the past. Hmm. 
Knight of Autumn. Yep. Yeah. No, I agree. Sultai is kind of difficult for this this deck. Priest, yeah, Priest is the most important card for sure against Sultai. Attack. Plaguemare is also pretty strong against, like, a 5-5 Terramander, where they, like, block a Knight of Autumn with a 5-5 Terramander, and then you Plaguemare it second main. That's kind of cool. It's possible a Johnny's just better there, using my mana. I was a little worried about a counter spell for a Johnny, though, like a Spell Pierce kind of thing. Phoenix out of here. Y'all think if I would have attacked with both, they're probably just blocking Tithe Taker, right? Yeah, they, they would have just blocked Tithe Taker if I would have attacked with both. And I don't really mind the creature going in the graveyard, of course, because now our Harpooner can kill a Drake. Hmm. I mean, if a Johnny resolves, it's the best card, again, for the last couple of turns for me to play. Uh, besides the Plague Mare turn, like this turn and that three turns ago. But, again, a little worried about the Spell Pierce. And we have an, another card that's reasonable to play here with the Knight of Autumn. stroke all right well now it's not <clears throat> now it's not dive down yeah hey Mizzou uh, it's $20 for a donation deck a lot of information down under like in the info panels uh, I guess if you're watching on PC it'd be underneath the, the stream or if you're on mobile you can switch over to the info panel uh, yeah $20 for your deck on there, but you can also make a purchase with one of my sponsors and get a reduced cost or a free cost on donation decks. Hey Chandler. Welcome back for an entire year? No, 25 months. It was today, it's 12, 12th uh, subscriber on the day, but 25 months. I thought you were been around for longer than you're. Chandler, that is amazing. Two years. Wow. You are awesome. Thank you so much. Hey, no, it, it's all good, Mizzou Steve. All good. Yes, I, I like the Esper Legends deck quite a bit. I think that is a, a pretty solid deck. Um, but yeah, if you get a, a toothbrush through Quip, toothbrushes with Quip are just $25. So it's only an extra $5. And you get, using my referral link, you get a free refill. And it's just a really, really nice quality... Um, Hmm. Still gonna play this. I don't. Yeah, I don't attack. Really, really nice quality. Uh, 
electric toothbrush. So that's, you know, if you're thinking about doing a $20 donation deck, just get spend an extra $5, get a really nice toothbrush, and help us get towards a 12-hour stream goal as well. So check out Quip. So I'm going to tick up on Night of Autumn. Wait, so they block here 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Man, I am one point away from killing them. We were one point away from killing them. If, if their last card was a blank. That is not a blank. All right, so they never had spell, or they had disdainful stroke. Now they did have disdainful stroke to counter a Johnny's earlier. All right, one and one. But maybe I should have just thrown out the Johnny's earlier. I mean, of course, if I knew we were drawing a second Johnny, I wouldn't mind throwing one into a counter spell. Good. Watery Grave decks don't usually play a ton of creatures, so honestly it may have been better just to play Tithe Taker here instead of Priest of the Forgotten Gods. Hope, really hoping to draw the white source so that we can play a Johnny here. That is critical. Can we draw a white source? We did not. Um, but let's attack. We could still draw a white source here. So I could, I could sacrifice both of these. They lose two life. We make two mana. Yeah, best case scenario, we draw white source. Worst case scenario, we just lose a gutter bones. Basically. Alright, that's worst case scenario. I want this tight taker back. Should just play the Tithe Taker turn two. There's the land. Oh my gosh! Uh, I can't play the gutter bones now. I need to play the land first. Oh, that's my bad. Ugh. That's a bad mistake. I need to have that two one in play. <laughs> Nothing phases me. Was that dear to you? Now it's dearly departed. Try that again. I dare you. Hmm. <clears throat> All right, so we got these gutter bones back in play. They're one card away now from activating Ascanta. Here's what happens when you die.
try that again. I dare you. No. Send those away. The smell. All right, so Kai is gone. Can we beat Nazcanta? Nope. Yeah, that stands for a donation deck. Uh, it's a deck that somebody donated to uh, see. Blade. All right, get these priests out of here. Get Duresses in, a Johnny in, Reaper, absolutely. Choop, what do I want to do with you, Choop? My opponent going to have creatures that I want to Chupacabra. That's very possible, like Liras and stuff. I mean, Tristani's, you know, it's a good card, but it does cost five mana. And I think I do need to keep Chupacabra in. Replace Chupacabra with Harpooner. Yeah, I mean, their creatures are going to be flyers besides besides Hostage Taker. That's the only one that we'd want to Chup. Yeah, Beast Whisper is probably not going to make it, right? <laughs> yeah, it doesn't seem fun when we only have three lands. No, but we do this. I think I actually like Chupacabra. I want to keep Chups. Trim Buglers because we don't have very many targets for it. Hmm. Yes, I understand the Harpooner kills Thief of Sanity. I understand. I think I'd rather just have Chupacabra. Like, we're on the play. Like, if they play Thief of Sanity on turn three, we can have Chupacabra the next turn on turn four. Yeah, and... I don't think they'd have Thief. I think the creatures that they could have that I'm more worried about are Hostage Taker or especially Lyra. And I don't really love having Harpooner fight Lyra. Harpooner does come back from a Johnny, though, which is a plus. Better not be sitting over here with Cry of the Carnarium. For rule. Wow, what a jerk. What a jerk. They had Cry of the Carnarium. Bell Hunt. That's another thing that we need to Chupacabra away. Chupacabra. Dang. Okay. 
Okay. Took that cry of the carnarium. So I'd rather have second Tristani over Bugler. Over one Bugler. On the draw here. Kinda, yeah. <laughs> yeah, we had a really aggressive start there. So yeah, we had Gutter Bones on one, uh, Amara on two, and then we on turn three we got two. We got two. Um, What's it called? Sorry, we got to duress away their cry of the carnarium. There's 23 in this deck. There should certainly be no less than 24. Mm, glad to be. I think I'll get Your problems are my profits. Right now there's 23. <laughs> Usually I'm better at dodging. Why not play the Tithe Taker into Absorb, is the question. It's just also, why play the Tithe Taker into Absorb? Pack your bags and hit the I'm wondering, road. like, why... Why let them spend their mana there and, and absorb my Tithe back. Taker? Just you wait. So... I w this is a spot where I wish we had two white mana where here we could, you know, we can double spell and, like, they absorb one. So I, I could just go with... could cast a Tithe Taker, they counter it, then I cast Find and just get it right back. But then that's that's basically trading my Find for Absorb. Um, we don't have, like, a ton of rush to do anything. I would say probably 20, just start with 24, Ferret. Um, I think I would go with 24. I could see 25, though. I think I'd rather have 25 than 23. But probably, probably just 24. So the good part about me waiting really long like that is it does kind of tell my opponent not to play Absorb. So do I want another creature to get Kaya's Draft away? No white source, please. Don't have Kaya's Wrath and then... And then Absorb also. Jupe.
I would have definitely played a Johnny if we had the white mana for a Johnny. But we don't. Proud to fight by your side. Uh, this deck is called uh, the Azam Beulah. That we're playing. The decks that we're playing are go down this, the list here. We are currently on Azam Bugler. I wish you only the best. Hmm. This should probably eat their absorb finally. No? No, I guess not. Oh, they can't cast absorb. I have Tithe Taker out. No, I should have finality there. Or finded. Not finality, but find. I could have grabbed Knight of Autumn Tithe Taker. Dang it. Ugh, this has Kanta's gonna flip. Yeah, I gotta just go take her into find. I'm just going to grab two takers back. Man, these tie takers are really annoying for our control opponent. Because, like, this thing's just going to flip, right? So, like, getting Knight of Autumn doesn't really do very much now. But these tie takers are just really annoying to deal with. And they keep coming back with Find. And they keep coming back with the Johnny. If I would have just cast Find first, they they had the counter spell. So if I cast Find to, to go get Knight of Autumn to blow up um, the other thing, then they would just counter the Find. Yeah, they they had Absorb up. I think my opponent had a counter spell. I mean, maybe I was wrong. So I, I know Tristani and Ajani were both lethal. But I thought like if they just had another absorb. Like they didn't they didn't take either one, they took a tithe taker. Right? So like they wanted me to play like the only reason to do that is they wanted me to tap out and play one of those and then they absorb and gain the life. It's so, like they wanted me to slam the big thing. That's what I was thinking. Like if they take Tithe Taker with the Thought Erasure. All right, we are two and one. Yeah, we still had a really safe line to just win the late game. Yeah, we did. We did have a pretty strong, pretty strong versus Esper, uh, Esper control game. Tithe Taker was just so, so, so good for us. And we just, you know, like they just, they raffed him away and we just had all those one ones that were annoying and then we get him back with Find to get him back with a Johnny. Tithe Taker plus Find Finality plus a Johnny. That's, that's some big game.
No white mana? Ugh. We do need more white sources in this deck, right? Like, we, we just never have enough white sources. That's what it seems like. Like, I think that's... Our 24th land needs to be another white source. Because there's only one, two, three, four, five... Let's see. There's only 13 white sources. And we're playing double white cards with Johnny. we got to have at least a 14th. All right, so we know... Yeah, we gotta have another white source in here. So we know, um, we know what kind of land we we want for this twenty fourth land. Syncopate? Wow. Syncopate. That is a real big game there. So I wanted to lead with Tithe Taker so my opponent couldn't absorb at the next turn. But we're dead now. Syncopate was huge. Disposal Hero, why don't why don't we have any Vivians in the sideboard? And especially if we have like a twenty fourth land. Maybe even a twenty fifth. Like, you know, play a couple of Vivians in the sideboard. You're obsessed too much with bugler targets. You need to well, if you you need to find your buglers, right? And that's what that's what uh, Vivian does. Helps you get your buglers. Well, like you have Midnight Reaper. Midnight Reaper isn't you know you can't get Midnight Reaper with bugler. But, like, Vivian's probably a little better than Midnight Reaper. Yeah, Bant. Bant Bugler doesn't work too well. The removal's not good enough. Like, you have Deputy at Attention, and it's just... And Deputy at Attention's not really good enough. But now I've played all sorts of Bugler decks. And, unfortunately, Bant doesn't work too, too well. Well, four mana two twos. Yeah, I could. I mean, I could see having two more lands in the main deck too. I can see that.
I don't... Did I start the draft recently? We're playing Constructed here. Naya Bugler is not bad. Um, the big, you know, I have the, I call it Naya Value, but it's Naya Bugler deck. The big reason why Naya works pretty well is because, uh, um, what's it called? The, uh, the red two one for two. Um, Direfully Daredevil. Direfully Daredevil is just, is just awesome, and it gives, you know, gives you a really good spell. All right, extra Johnny. Get these duresses. Get these Midnight Reapers. Um, they could also have. I mean, they could have creatures in their sideboard, but it's also possible they don't. I could just go no removal. The problem, you know, if our opponent has Lyra Dawnbringer, we're dead. So just like last time, like, our opponent was playing the 4-mana 3-4 gain life, discard a card. That's a good anti-aggro card. Um, Chupacabra wouldn't, didn't do anything to that. <laughs> so Disposable Hero, do you not struggle hitting land drops? Like, do you not struggle usually playing your four drops with this deck? Find finalities in our four drop slot. Lurking Chupacabra? Nah, I don't need no lurking Chupacabra. Just really hope not cry of the carnarium. Oh wait, they don't have any black mana right now anyway. Good. We don't have to worry about Settle because it's Tithe Taker. Yeah, this deck's a good one for a Tithe Taker. Uh, our Orzhov Angels deck that we played earlier is kind of similar to this. I, I love the Orzhov Angels deck. It has four Tithe Taker. Um, it's got a Johnny's. Um, yeah, that, that deck's really strong if you want to check out that one. Um, also, if you're looking for a Tithe Taker deck, you can find the deck list there on my Stream Decker. Um, you can also find the video on the YouTube channel. That's another option. I yeah, I really like that Orzov Angels deck. Ugh.
All right, three lands. That's a lot of lands. Keeping that. Like to draw gutter bones, turn one, or duress. I'll take duress also. Yeah, we had two five O's today. The Grixis discard, we had a lot of really close games that we were pretty fortunate to get that five O. Uh, beating Mono Red twice, and then we beat Teamer Reclamation when they had like 12 lands and, or like 10, they had 10 lands and three Niv Mizzets in hand, and we had like one removal spell in our entire deck. It was not easy. We got really lucky. We'll just play tomorrow. If I knew that was their hand, of course. I was worried about syncopate that we saw, you know, multiple of, and I didn't really want my Mara getting syncopated. How these beaglers go infinite. If you show remorse, let's so they tuck freebooter, we get freebooter back. I could also just play the Midnight Reaper though, and just draw a bunch of cards, and then freeboot afterwards. So I could go, I could like go grab freebooter and freeboot away the Cleansing Nova, but then if they draw another Wrath, that's kind of meh. Or I could just play Midnight Reaper plus Tithe Taker, and draw four cards whenever they Cleansing Nova, and then set up the other way. I, I think I am just going to draw four. Turn Tithe Taker into a 1-1. One, one. Let's do this. Duress also. Hmm. Mm. You stop doing this with gutter bones. So we can go back and grab Midnight Reaper Tithe Taker or Midnight Reaper Bugler.
Just in case it's settled. I'll go Reaper Bugler. Our deck is going here. We are humming. That's what happens when you have like a draw four with Midnight Reaper. Okay. Three and one. Still going strong. We got two matches. We're still at single elimination now. Ever since we picked up our first loss, we've won the last two. Got to keep winning. Otherwise, our league is done. Yeah, our deck was on fire there. GG's. Yeah, find finality. Find just in general has been really, really good for us. I like find with all these value creatures. Like find with Tithe Taker. Um, love it. Oh yeah, that control deck had nothing on us as far as card draw was concerned. No lands. Nobody knows the mana trouble. Hmm. Well, I mean, yeah, we'll keep it. Yeah, let's keep it. Make this Abzan Bugler thing. Gruel Gilgate. Alright, we're gonna have to freeboot away this uh, Gates Ablaze. Assassin's Trophy? Come on. Well, oh, they do have black mana. Watery Grave. No. Hmm. This can kill Summit. Still pretty dead. So they can trophy the free boot and then okay, another free booter is intriguing. Now they trophy this freebooter, get their gates ablaze back. Oh, they can't. Oh, yeah, they can because they, they drew the black gate. So, yeah. All right, Ferret. Have a wonderful night. <laughs> there you go, Lone Gunman. Yeah, yeah, I love me some Steely Dan. 
Probably have like around seven, eight Steely Dan songs in the playlist. That's my guess. I mean, we're not winning a late game. We gotta, we gotta pressure this opponent. Oh, I should be, I should not have attacked with Priest there. I should activate Priest and just sack like this Priest, this Knight, add more mana, play the Chew. Okay, okay. So. Not you. Put the most damage we can in here. You. I want to sack the Choop and a Priest. Like, I'm going to find them both back. Because that's still... Because I want to have enough power... Yeah, right. Yep, exactly. So, uh, yeah, if they have a, if they find a blaze, it just gets them another blaze. So, yeah, we're not we're not playing around a blaze. Okay. Free boot really helped us out there. So, we got Durasa Johnny Coming in. I think I'm supposed to take Priest out. Yeah, I don't think Priest will normally do that much for us. Uh, let's get these Midnight Reapers in here so we can draw some cards. Tristani doesn't seem like it does a whole lot. Because it just gets swept up by their ablaze and stuff. It's my other card to take out. Are they going to really have... I guess they'll probably have Rams and Colossuses, right? Like, so I have Chupacabra right now for those. Like, well, Knight of Autumn can kill Colossus. Chup is the only thing I have right now for Ram. Do you think we need Cast Down also? We, we definitely took out a lot of Bugler hits, so I think I'm going to take out a Bugler. I don't know, it's, it's the version with black. Like, they're playing black. Like, they're playing, they're playing four color, no white. All right, I'll take out one Beast Whisperer for a cast down. Still have the other one. Keep. Please draw lands. Please get to a Johnny. Come on, deck. Come on, deck. You can do it. Draw some lands. We need a white source. Let's draw a white source. Maybe if we focus on what color. White source. Not white card. The deck.
What is this? You can't beat these. Not what I expected. That's why it's called a theory. All right, deck. Come on, deck. Get in the power. We need mana. So it didn't take trophy because at least trophy, uh, you know, they use a trophy on freebooter to get Ral back, and trophy gets us a land. Ugh. Maybe I should have taken a guild summit though. I know they would have had the other one. No, I'm, I'm kind of glad it took Ral. I hate 23 lands. Hate it. over. Man, our opener was good. Like, you know, with the two lander, you think we could draw some lands. It just didn't didn't work out for us. What do I have right now? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 24, minus the one bugler that we would have already played. So we have 23 other bugler hits. All right. Please draw land. So yeah, get playing Tithe Taker before Freebooter because it's two power. Uh, need to get as much power out as possible. Early. <clears throat> Alright, next turn we can double spell with Freebooter Gutter Bones. Just try to keep my opponent from playing a Gates of Blaze too early. I wouldn't mind drawing a Midnight Reaper where we could just play a Midnight Reaper and have that up for Gates of Blaze. They could have a uh, trophy right now. Okay, moment of craving. Their hand is not very good. Their hand is not very good. Come on, deck. 
Thanks, Pure Flame. Favorite card so far um, that gets the brew train going? Honestly, probably five color Niv Mizzet, actually. Yeah, I like five color Niv Mizzet quite a bit. So I'll play 4 3 Night of Autumn. How much power do we have right now? 2, 4, 5, 6. This would be 8. This would be 10. Perfect. I think Nicol Bolas looks incredibly good. Uh, and so that's that's a card. That's another card that I'll be playing with a lot at the beginning of the set of making a Grixis decks with Nicol Bolas. Um, I think, no, I I don't think Feathers will make Boros decks a little less jank. I think you kind of have to build your own deck around Feather the redeemed but there's <clears throat> there's like another card in the set um there were a couple other cards like you basically make heroic decks again kind of thing They did not find the ablaze. And we are four and one. So we got another final boss. Third final boss of the night. It's been... been a very successful stream so far i mean even, even with a, a loss here it has been but we don't have any we don't have any extra lives this is it we're running into the final boss with no extra life oh we have a whole final boss playlist this is the beginning man zero land one land uh, why, can't, why can't we have lands? Why can't we have lands? Why can't we draw lands? I always make the final boss so tough. I don't give you any mana to play any spells. All right, Tithe Taker's big game. Tithe Taker can win the game by itself. Can deal 20, just give it 10 turns. I can see the opponent can see it any second. So cruel. We don't have green mana. Uh, 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 uh. So cruel. Can I get this back from exile? See, the other thing about three color decks, you usually want to play um, you know, three color decks because it's easy to, to miss like whatever color of mana you need. It's, it's also tough to skimp on lands in three color decks. You usually need to play like an extra land to make sure you can hit like your different colors. Yeah, my Tithe Taker dream died.
At least the Night of Autumn... Night of Autumns are coming through clutch. Uh, he's right at the top. Probably bad. It's probably a Sweeper. But Sweeper, we can get him back. We can rebuild. That card's good. That's gonna hurt. All right, so we're gonna get our harpooners in. Yeah, definitely Grixis Dragon. So we're gonna get our harpooners in the sideboard. Unfortunately, cast down isn't very good against our opponent's deck. Skargon Hellkite that we're seeing there, that's the only thing that gets cast down in their deck. And the final boss is Nicol Bolas. Alright. Duress. A Johnny. Midnight Reaper. Harpooner. Whisperer. Priest is, like, weird, you know? Like, I think we keep one Priest in. It's just... It's real bad against sweepers, and they play sweepers. I'm going to keep one priest in. Uh, no, I would not play Conclave Tribunal over Cast Out, no. Mortify would be the other option, but... Yeah, Mortify would be the card to maybe play over Cast Down. But Cast Down is going to be a lot better against the aggro decks. And you already have Knight of Autumns. Because, uh, you know, just costing two mana. No, the Cast Down's good. Okay, down a game to the final boss. We never get to four mana. Or do we? Will this be the time that we actually draw two lands and we get to play a Johnny on curve? That's the thing that we've never done basically this whole time is actually play a Johnny on turn four. deck. Let's play Midnight Reaper next turn. Oh, so I was originally Necrotic Wound? Yeah, no. I, I definitely like Cast Down a whole lot better than Necrotic Wound. Wow. Taking the Choop? 
It's like the worst card in the hand. And nope, we don't actually curve out into a Johnny. Oh gosh. All right, so what are we cutting for the deck for more lands? Because this is this is not an acceptable number of lands to play. So what are we actually cutting from the deck? Are the beast like are the beast whispers just the two cards that are gone? Amara. Oh, there's already four buglers in the deck. We're not putting in, we can't put a fifth in there. Come on, lands. Okay, we're getting there. One more land, we can play a Johnny. And minus two, bring back the Harpooner. We really need to get this land this next turn, though, before this bolus flips. Gotta hit our land drop this turn, whether it's Chupa or Johnny. Hey, we got five subs gifted out by Streak Almighty. Thank you so much, Streak Almighty. Santa, Santa Streak with the subs. Everybody, get some hype boats in the chat for Santa Streak there. Gets our sub battle countdown down to 13 now. Yeah, we definitely are playing Reap and attacking. Trying to cycle. Didn't get to play last time. Oh, I'm sorry, Streak Almighty. Yeah, we are almost there for the that streak for another streak, or sorry, another sub battle um, stream. Witness omnipotence. Hey, Chris, with the uh, resub as well. Let's keep this hype going. Thank you, Chris. This is a little unfortunate here. We just couldn't get our, our fourth mana before our opponent's flipping Bolas. We have so many ways to kill Bolas and just couldn't, couldn't get there. I teach you respect. Yeah, this game's over now. Could certainly see playing 25. I think 25 is a lot better than 23. 24 is a minimum. But 25 doesn't sound so bad. We still went 4 and 2, even though. Like, 4 and 2 is not bad at all and uh, you know we just this was happening like the whole league of us never being able to play our four mana cards kind of thing and we still went four two so pretty impressive in that respect
Uh, I have all of the cards. My Dovex. So it would take a long time without spending any money to get all of the cards. That's a good question, 1960 Palace. Are you going to allow the subs who battled the first battle to enter and play again in the next one? And yeah, I think so. That's that's my plan. But I know I, I do want to get as many different, you, will you know, feel the lick of my I know a couple, flames. couple Bonus of y'all didn't get in last time, this. you know, including Streak Almighty there. Um, and I do want to make sure we get as many people as possible. I could do like signups kind of thing. But I don't know if signups is better. I understand you are in need. There's more work to do. Oh my gosh, do I not have enough creatures in the graveyard? I do, right? Yeah, okay. I just had a, a slight panic. Oh, that's true. We did get to the final boss with all the decks today. Yeah, because the Bant Vanifar deck got to the final boss. So yeah, we, we were 2-2 against final bosses. We're still fighting here, though. Like this Ajani's a little annoying because then they have to they have to like attack the Ajani which taps their creature here. So I think I like having the Ajani in play over just having a Chupacabra in play. My opponent could just reanimate the harpooner though. <laughs> Keep me from getting Death. it means nothing to me. Oh, right, but now they just get to get that back and then they have all the activations. All right, never mind. Okay. Okay, we are dead. Yeah, they could minus three bulls to kill a Johnny, but I wouldn't really mind that because that's, you know, that's killing. Or that's like them not drawing multiple cards. So, yeah, we need to get more lands in this deck. That is an absolute. Honestly, I think my least favorite card in the whole deck, honestly, is Tristani. I just, I don't really feel like Tristani is that necessary. I don't love Beast Whisperer either. The, the problem with these cutting, like, Tristani, Beast Whisperer, stuff like that, is you just make Militia Bugler worse. Um, but yeah, we never really did anything with Tristani. Five mana was just something we could never, ever cast, basically. Um, Beast Whisperer did stuff that one cool, that one time, which was cool. I mean, a Johnny was awesome. I want like a third of Johnny in the main deck. Kind of. Kind of want a third of Johnny over here. And then what's... I don't know. If we get rid of like the Beast Whispers and a Tristani and just add some lands. Get another Temple Garden. And just another Swamp maybe. How many green sources is that now? Now 4, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. So now that's 14 of each. How many black do we have? We have 16, 18. No, 18 black's enough. So maybe just one more. Maybe just two other temple gardens. Oh no, those are some options there. <laughs> the whole deck is, is a Militia Bugler deck. We're not going to be cutting the Militia Buglers. 
Um, yeah, you could play stuff like Elvish Rejuvenator. That's that's an option. For sure. Um, get two Vivians in the sideboard. <laughs> Not Vivian's Invocation. And take a Midnight Reaper out. All right, we'll do here in just a second, King J. So yeah, this this looks like something I could try like the next time. Just get move that Ajani to the main because it was just always awesome. And put two Vivians in the sideboard because that's just a really strong card. And uh, takes out one of the Midnight Reapers and that extra Ajani. And trim some of those fours and fives for a couple more lands. No, priest priest is really really powerful when it's when it's good. No, it's it's a yeah you don't four priests is perfectly fine. That's perfectly fine. Uh, we didn't really see a, a ton of matchups for it. We we're playing against a lot of control uh, kind of decks, but overall the deck played pretty well. I I did really like gutter bones tithe taker. Knight, a Johnny, you know, like that kind of stuff. Find with these, like the Abzan aggro ish shell is uh, pretty strong, and I like it. All right, so uh, if you're watching this video later on on YouTube, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Amar is a strong two drop, you know, like Amara going unchecked uh, gets you a lot of tokens and everything. You don't really need to convoke stuff with it. Amara works really well with a Johnny also. I could see like playing a Danto Vanguard instead of a Mara though. I could see that being a thing. You know, Vanguard you can hit off Bugler and Vanguard's hard to kill for like control decks. I could see playing Vanguard instead of a Mara. But Amara was was real good for us. Oh yeah, and it's really good with Priest. That's true. Oh man, Amara is real strong with Priest. Good call, good call. Yeah, no, I like Amara. Amara's good. Um all right, so yeah, so if you're watching this later on YouTube, thanks for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.